Hey Simmers, I'm back with a surprise build tour this week. Uh, this is kind of a bonus one. It's I'm doing this because I'm looking for some uh, feedback from everyone. Uh, the build I'm doing is gonna be I'm gonna put in for the Spark Challenge. Here on the screen is basically telling you about what the challenge is. You have to build a home for an elderly Sim with a room unique to their special hobbies and all that. Uh, there's certain uh, rules. It can be you can't use any mods, custom content, and that. But all the cheats are allowed. So BB dot move object, hidden object, and all that. Uh, and then the way it's being judged, there's several criteria like creativity, craftsmanship, originality, aesthetics, all that. These are the areas. As if you watch, kind of give me some feedback so I can make some adjustments to the house before I submit it. I'm going to submit it Friday. So, coming to the build, uh, I decided I wanted to do kind of an old brick f house up on a hill. I kind of built the first floor and then I uh, used the landscaping tools to raise up a few areas and then move the house up on top using raising it up and kind of getting it to the height I wanted. Pay no attention to the old sim in here. I just kind of created her so I could add a few extra details. I kind of want it to go with the old, an old, older sim. She's kind of been around. Her husband's passed away. Her living room is pink. You got the TV with the rabbit ears. Older kind of looking furniture, lights, stuff you picture. This is the dining room. I did a little extra. I had her set the table. I had her cook up a bunch of food just so I could set it up. Set up, make it look like she's getting her family's coming over for a dinner. This is the kitchen. As you can see, older type furniture, more food, a bunch of uh, cookies and apple pie. As we come through this area, we have a little room off to the area off the back. We have our laundry room. Again, with the older style lights, it looks fits the f feel. And we also have our downstairs bathroom. In my head, this is the original bathroom of the house. Uh, nothing overly fancy and all that. Uh, trying to put stuff in the right spot without using the red shelf was a little tricky. I tried to keep it to a minimum. Uh, I just saw it's a two floor build. A uh, few spots, there's a bit of clipping with the walls. I don't know why. Uh, up on, here on the landing, we've just got this table, some plants. Uh, I got paused because there's some clicking noise. I didn't know where it was coming from. That's why we kind of got this. We have a guest room. We've got some old books. Uh, and that out, like, this is stuff she's collected over the years. I tried to stick with, like, old wallpapers, kind of match everything together. Here's the upstairs bathroom. This is kind of a new install, even though it she stuck with her older kind of furniture and that. Oh, well, chandeliers seem really high. Or personally, I think that mirror is a little too high. But then we go into the her bedroom. Again, I was trying to keep the old motifs. So you've got like older style furniture, lamps, all that. Uh, the pictures I put on the wall they came from Island Living. I figure it was from a trip that her and her husband made years ago. This is her hobby room. I decided that she was going to be an artist, a painter. So she's got all these uh, paintings sitting around, shelves of paintings, empty canvases, and it's all set up. That's her hobby room. So we're going to go back down through the house and look at everything else that was done. I figured. I tried to keep it, I tried to clutter it up, tried to make it look a little bit older, as you can see. I had to put in the china hut, because for some reason I think old people, I think china huts. Is. Out here you have uh, the exact same table and chairs as the dining room, nice brand new barbecue, and then you go down these stairs to a pool, another easel and all that. And I figure her husband used to do a lot of the gardening, hence why you have all these beautiful gardens and the gnomes. 
this was a pain in the ass because trying to make sure I had it so you couldn't see that some of the plants are floating. But that's just the general idea for the, this. It was for the Spark Challenge, the Golden Age. So I figured, old lady, big, ha big brick house. Uh, I did a lot of uh, landscaping, a lot of plants, all that, uh, just to try to make it fill it in the lot. As you can see, there's a bit of grass overgrown in some areas. I didn't look closely at it because you'll see that the grass is actually floating in a few spots because of the hill. So any comments and anything would be greatly appreciated. And until my speed build on Friday, Susu!